Hi guys, welcome to Book of Shayla. Today we are doing day 11, 12, day 12 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life Series 16. Here is the sketch. Mine's going to be just a little bit different, but, oh, and it's by Lisa Marie. I'm going to, instead of have two four by fours, have a four by six over here also. And I think I may flip my pictures. So let me show you my pictures. My pictures are of, um, we had a character dinner when we went to Disney for my son's senior trip. It was my birthday. And so we had dinner with Cinderella. So my son and daughter and one of the stepsisters, Cinderella and Prince Charming, Cinderella, me, my daughter and Cinderella, me, my daughter, Prince Charming, and my mom, Wicked Stepmom, daughter, me. So those are the pictures I'm going to use. I have pulled a whole bunch of stuff. I have pulled some decorative brads and page pieces from Simple Stories Say Cheese Fantasy at the Park because I wanted to go with the pink theme. I've pulled these acrylic and wood veneer pieces from Kiki's Tiki Room, which is an Etsy store. I've pulled some flare. These two are from Scrap and Happy Studio. And this one, I think is was Dottie about flare. I can't really remember. It was just in my stash. So, um, but I wanted the colors of those. I've pulled this Once Upon a Time wood veneer. I think I got it in a Creative Club's Creative Cuts Club. Um, so I have that. I have these gold tickets with the Mickey head from Pear Tree Cut Files. I have some more wood veneer from L Studio. It says At the Castle, A Dream Come True, So Very Lovely meeting a princess. I have this acrylic from Color Cast Design that says magical. I have these um, wood, veneer, wood veneer and acrylic pieces, or maybe they're just acrylic. I think they're all acrylic from Shadney. I have some um, washi tape that is the uh, castle from Echo Park. And from Kiki's Tiki Studio, I also have, I probably won't use these, but I have this acrylic resin piece of Cinderella. Acrylic resin. How about this resin piece of Cinderella? So those are all my embellishments. Like I said, I pulled out everything that was this color scheme that was Disney. <laughs> and it was a lot. So I have lots of stuff to embellish. Yay. I like that. Um, I have done a little bit of mixed media already. I pulled out these two pink um, cardstock pieces and I took my Tim Holtz stencil that looks like this and some pink lemonade stencil butter and I just did for the sides a little bit of stenciling. It's very subtle, which is what I wanted. And then I have pulled this piece of paper from Echo Park Magical Adventure 2. Um, it's fireworks on the back, but I wanted this blue. So that is all my stuff. So let's get started. This is the first process video I've done in a little while. So uh, bear with me, please. You know, I just realized I really wanted to use that washi and it's going the wrong direction that I wanted to use it. Oh, well, <laughs> darn it. Now, I will say that I wanted very much to um, back this pink on something because it's kind of flimsy cardstock, but I could not find two pieces of pink to save my soul that matched. Oh. Uh, so, yeah. So, I even was like, okay, how about black and white polka dot? No, nothing. All the... Um, uh, collections that I have only have one piece of paper per, uh, per thing, per thing, per piece. So I have no, 
And these are supposed to be a little bigger, but as I just said, I only have one piece of all my papers. And so we're just gonna go with a six inch and call it good. This was not at Cinderella's Castle, even though I'm going to put a whole bunch of castles on the paper or on my page. It was at the Grand Floridian. Um, they have a uh, character, or they did. This was 2019, I'm guessing, because I think they redid the restaurant. But uh, they had a, it was a buffet, and then Cinderella and Prince Charming and the uh, step mom and stepsisters walked through and uh, yeah yeah walked through okay guess what guys the last layout I did used my last piece of close to my heart white daisy cardstock I was so sad so sad but I am going to back my pictures but I have some Eight and, half, eight and a half by 11 that I back my, I use sometimes for a photo mat. But yes, even though this was my son's trip, his senior trip, he allowed me to have this character. He didn't allow me, but he was okay with it. Having this character dinner because he knew how much I wanted to meet Cinderella and the wicked stepmom. And hey, it was food. He didn't complain too much. <laughs> My son likes food a lot. He's kind of a foodie, which is a lot of fun. Because he's willing to try new things and he cooks cool stuff too. He's a good cook. <laughs> But this is the only time we've had a character uh, meal. So, I would do it again. I mean, it was a little expensive. <laughs> okay, it was more than a little expensive. But it was a buffet. So, you know, like for Garrett, well, for all of us, uh, you can definitely eat a lot if you're into that because they had lots of different stuff and it wasn't it wasn't bad I mean was it the best meal you can have at Disney probably not but it wasn't too bad really okay you know I was really worried about the um double page version of uh, 30 days of sketches one because you've heard me say this I don't really do double pages I should I have enough pictures for several things that I should do double pages but I just really don't but my problem my biggest problem with double pages is that a lot of times it calls for you to cut your pictures down so little and I have my pictures printed four by six I used to have a Canon selfie and it broke and I have not gotten anything new for that but uh so when you print your stuff in four by six it's really hard to cut things down a lot of times and so that's also my problem with um double page but a lot of these sketches the pictures are big enough that it's not a problem which i really appreciate and then when they're not, I just adapt sometimes. And there are some events where I can cut things down. All right, so I want... Mm -hmm. 
trying to decide. What other picture do I want over there? I think I'll do Cinderella over there and then I will do these two. Okay, so let me glue this down, glue my pictures down. And like I said, I knew I would cover up a lot of this, but I wanted, knowing that my paper wasn't so big, I wanted something over here. And so I'm going to uh, leave a little bit. You're just going to see a little bit, but that's okay. I will say I was super impressed with these characters. They stay in character the entire time you meet them. Like, even with us older people, you know, my daughter, uh, she was um, 13 and my son was 18. And, you know, so they could have easily broken character and just kind of talked to us, but they didn't. They stayed in character the whole time and it was so much fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, so that was about an inch and a half. So. Let me scoot this over. I'm having some problems here getting my thing torque my ruler okay so an inch and a half would be about there We should have made it a little further down, but that's okay. That is crooked. Yes, it is. Let's try that again. <laughs> it's like, that's really crooked. There we go. That's better. All right. And then over here, we will do about a half inch in. Probably. Will that work? Can I do it a full inch in? Let's do an inch and a half in this way too. Not straight. All right, so there's that side. And I think I might, you know, like, I don't know, maybe I can. So I do have a little bit, so maybe like tear a little bit and add something. I just don't like these edges. Just having a really hard time, and that's too thick. Ugh. I cut it too big. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to come back to that in a minute. I cut it too far down and I don't have a strip wide enough that I can figure something out. Okay, so let's... Oh my goodness gracious, what is up with me? You can tell I haven't done a process video in a while. I am completely destroying this layout. <laughs> On camera, even better. Use 
my other thing. That's part of the problem is I should have used my other tape gun. I think I will just find an embellishment to put there. Okay, so there's that. Or can I just, let's see. Wondering if I can. Let's see what this looks like. Bear with me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a complete and total mess today. I should probably just stop the video and do a Okay. See, that's not too bad. All right. There we go. Good deal. Okay. Um, let's... Let's go ahead. Well, yeah. Let me go ahead and do some embellishing on this because I thought about doing a strip of washi across see I wanted to do it down like that but my castles would not work they would be wrong and like I said I know we're not in the castle in this particular picture the Amazon photos is not supported on this device View your photos using the Amazon Photos app or website, or on devices like Fire TV or Echo Show. Okay, Alexa decided to talk to me this morning. That's fine. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and then embellish together. Sometimes I do one side and then the other, but today I feel like doing it like this. So... This is how we're gonna do it today. You just never know. I change it up all the time, but it's fine. All right. And as you can see, my son was a good sport. He even got his picture taken with the evil stepsister. Oh, and it was so funny. She was all hitting up on him and stuff. It was pretty funny. But like I said, he was a good sport about it. Usually, both my children are good sports. Like, you know, some teenage boys would have been a total jerk about going to see Cinderella when it was their senior trip, you know, that kind of thing. But I have to say, my children are pretty good about indulging me when it comes to things like that. So, they're pretty good kids. I am pretty lucky. I could measure, but I decided I did. I measured my own way, right? All right. So, there we go. Now, I don't think you could probably see the ends of either of these, but, um, oh, I need to do a little tear. Do this. Sometimes just, oh, what am I doing? Sometimes that little bit showing like that helps me not to have to have a uh, a um, something some kind of border it just breaks up that solid pink enough that it it really helps me with that I think I'm gonna do this one down here Okay, so there we go. There's the basics. All right, so let's see what all I have. I've used the washi. I might can use some more, but we'll stick or we'll wait and see. Okay, so I for sure want to use the Cinderella because 
um, these are my last pictures. Now I could use them on my daughter's or son's pages, but these are the last pictures I have of Cinderella. So, um, she has, the sketch has a cluster here. Well, it would have been like here. So I'm going to put it here and then up here. So that's where I'm going to put my clusters. They have the title here, which I don't know that this will show up because it's pink on pink. And it's kind of big for that spot. So, hmm. I might not be able to use the magical. We'll see. We'll come back to that. I definitely want to use some of these. Um, meeting a princess. I could put the, the castle somewhere. Uh, a dream come true. It's not at the castle. And I could put so very lovely. And then a heart. And the wand. Maybe. Okay. So that's all but this one. All right, I don't know about the tickets. Now this once upon a time, will that fit for my title? Oh yeah, that would fit for my title. Okay. Um, I like these, this, I have a castle that's this really cool like I don't know it's just really cool so I think I might put it up here and then I mean I have hearts but they're red and I don't really want red hearts okay And then I want this Cinderella because, like I said, I'm not sure I have any other. Well, I know I don't have any other pictures. Of... Well, that's not true. I have photos of them in a in the parade. Oop. I don't want the stars. Might not do that castle. Um, I know there's star paper, so I probably should have done stars instead of hearts now that I'm looking at it. And there's stars here. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do stars instead of hearts. A star and a star, although there is a heart on here, but that's okay. And then I have stars. Stars. And I have these blue ones too that I can do because they look like those. those. I'm trying 
trying to decide, do I want the Cinderella? Maybe like that. Do I like it like that? Maybe. Maybe. I can put the castle back up here. Like I had it. Okay, then I have my flare. And I kind of want to put that there so it's not quite so obvious that I messed up. <laughs> um... And then let's see. Ah, that has something on it. Oh well. I might pop that up so that I can leave it like that. Okay, then I have these. Is there anything I don't really think I need these? There is a crown. But you know what? I kind of like the way it is. Now, do I want any tickets? That's the last thing that I have. Add one there for that. Build that up a little bit. I think that's the only one I'm going to use. Okay. I think this is what I'm going to go with. Now, there will be a still shot at the end in case you can't see the edges here. But I think I am done with day 12 of 30 Days of Sketches Series 16. Thank you, Lisa Marie, for this great sketch. I loved it, and it was perfect for these pictures. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.